So I turned the water on and I have a check valve and it held pretty good for a while then all of a sudden ba boom it busted water was squirting all over typical so I went down to the plumbing store and I got me a, another check valve and I don't know if you know much about check valves but it only lets water go through one way so it'll go through that way but it won't go through this way and what happened was the water was coming through the thing and the check valve busted so I'm gonna put another one in here but this is also another check valve that goes outside your uh, <clears throat> outside and it does the same thing it'll, it won't go back this way but it'll go this way so I always carry an extra one of these so I'm gonna install this uh, so what I'm gonna do is wrap this with this tape like this yeah three four times just like that one side goes on the hose and then this goes in here like that so it shouldn't be no worries okay and this side is going to go into the hose clamp like that and this one's too tight and then this is just my like from underneath the sink I don't need anything special there I'll just put that in there Got like a rubber washer in there so we're good so just so you remember there's an arrow right here telling you which way the water goes because guess what I did I put it on backwards and had to redo it now let's give it a test so there it is it's working let's understand how the check valve works this is the tank that I fill from the outside so there's a hose that goes underneath down underneath and it comes up into here and there's the check valve so any water that, that's coming in through the regular system the hose will come right through here and it hit that check valve and it won't go into the tank but when the, we want water from the tank it'll take it from the tank into the system and if I just want to turn it off say we have a problem I just turn it off no big deal